Hello and welcome to the adding watch list pane in Page Composer tutorial. Watch lists are collections of items that match user defined criteria. They enable users to define information to which they would like to be alerted. Watch lists are very simple to create and use and are built upon queries. For more information on creating watch lists, please see the creating and sharing one view watch lists tutorial. Let's get started and create a new composed page with a watch list pane. To do so, we will need to access the page composer. From the login drop down menu, click manage content, then composed pages. This takes you to the page composer. Make sure that the name field is set to create so we can create a new composed page. We will provide a name when we save the page. Ensure the product code is 55. To add a watch list pane to this page, click the Create New Content icon. A list of all the content types pops up. Click Watch List Pane to add it to the Page Composer. Enter a name and a description for the watch list pane. Next, select the type of watch list pane you want to add to the composed page. The first option is All Watch Lists. This option will add a new watch list pane that displays all the personal and shared watch lists currently available to you. Second is the empty watch list option. You can use this option to add a new watch list pane with no watch lists. You can choose to add watch lists to the pane later. And the last option is the dynamic watch list. This is similar to the all watch list option. You can add a new watch list pane with all the personal and shared watch lists that are available to you. However, in the dynamic watch list pane, the watch lists displayed in the pane are dynamically determined during the runtime of the composed page. Let's select the first option that is all watch lists. You can see that a watch list pane has been added to the Compose page with all the personal and shared watch lists that are currently available to you. You can delete a watch list by selecting it and clicking the delete icon located in the middle of the tile. Go ahead and click the delete icon. The selected watch list is now removed from the pane. Let's delete a few more watch lists. Once you remove a watch list, a tile with a plus sign is displayed in the content frame. Clicking this icon displays an inventory list of all the deleted watch lists. Select any from the list to add it to the pane. You can see that the watch list that we just deleted is back in the pane. Click Save to save the watch list pane content type to the Compose page. Here, you will enter a name for the Compose page and click OK. Once the pane is saved, it becomes a static list. Additional watch lists that are available to you at a later time will not be added to the pane automatically. Now, let's add an empty watch list pane. Note that you can add only one watch list pane to a given composed page. So, we'll create a new composed page and add an empty watch list pane. Click the Create New Content icon again and click Watch List Pane. Enter a name and a description for the pane. Now choose Empty Watch List. As you can see, a pane has been added to the Compose page initially with no watch lists. When you click the dial with a plus sign, an inventory list of all the existing watch lists is displayed. Select any watch list from the list to add it to the pane. This way, you can add other watch lists that are available to you. Click Save to save the watch list pane to the Compose page and then enter a name for the page. Now, let's add a dynamic watch list to another Compose page. Enter a name and description for the pane and choose Dynamic Watch List. 
As you can see, a watch list pane has been added to the Compose page with all the watch lists that are available to you, including the personal and the shared ones. The watch lists displayed in this pane cannot be modified but are dynamically determined during the runtime for the Compose page. When a dynamic watch list pane is shared with other users, only those watch lists for which the users have permission will appear. Click Save to save the watchlist pane to the Compose page and enter a name for the page. Close the Page Composer. Now, let's see how the composed pages with the different watchlist panes look at runtime. Let's access the Compose page with the first option, that is, All Watchlists. In order to view the watchlists, your administrator must have given you permissions to do so. For more information on setting up one new watchlist view security, please see the JD Edwards Enterprise One Tools Security Administration Guide. Here, the watchlists are displayed according to the selection made in the page composer. Watchlists appear as tiles and display their names and a number that represents a count of records that meet the query criteria. The first time you open the composed page with the watchlist pane, Enterprise One updates the watchlists with the most current information. The frequency of updates is determined by how the watchlist was defined. Hover over a watchlist to view the status and see how long it has been since its last update. Use the refresh icon in the tile to recompute that specific watchlist information on demand. You can also use the refresh all icon to recompute all the watchlist information. When the watchlist is defined, a warning threshold and a critical threshold are specified. If a particular watchlist is within the threshold, the record count appears in the blue box. If a watchlist surpasses the warning threshold, the record count appears in an orange box. If it surpasses its critical threshold, the number appears in a red box. A plus sign is displayed if the record count exceeds the maximum records to return. It may be an orange or a red box depending on the warning and the critical thresholds that have been set up for the watchlist. The watchlists displayed here match the ones displayed in the watchlist drop-down menu on the JD Edwards Enterprise One menu bar. The watchlist pane displayed on the Compose page consists of four filter tabs as All, Matches, Warning and Critical. In the All tab, all the watchlists are displayed without any filtering criteria. In the Matches tab, watchlists that have the record count greater than zero are displayed. In the Warning tab, only those watchlists that have surpassed the warning and critical threshold limits are displayed. And finally, in the Critical tab, only those watchlists that have surpassed the critical threshold limits are displayed. Now, let's see the composed page with the empty watchlist pane. The watchlists that we added in the Page Composer are displayed in the All tab. As there is nothing much to filter here, you can see the warning and the critical tabs display the message No Results Found. Lastly, let's see the Compose page with the Dynamic Watchlist pane. Here, all the watchlists are displayed. When the Compose page with the dynamic watchlist pane is shared with others, only those watchlists will be displayed for which the users have permission. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have shared this Compose page. Also, I have logged into Enterprise One as another user and opened the shared Compose page. As you can see, for this user, only those watchlists are displayed for which the user has permissions. Select the watch list to open the related application where you can see the items included in the query. This concludes the adding watch list pane and page composer tutorial.